Hi everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how I make the uh, piston for the uh, Delrin handpiece. And one of the little anomalies I've ran into here uh, reaming these out. I'm using a 348 reamer, I think I was saying it was a 349, but it's a 348 reamer and it mics out at 348. So I know that's what size it is. Now, when I ream out the barrel, when I check the hole size and I get a good feel on my ball gauge here. Real good feel on it to where yeah I can feel the sides and it slides all the way up and down here. Now I check my diameter and it's right at 345. So after this re after I ream this out, it seems like the uh, the Delrin likes to expand and then shrink back down to three thousandths. Now that's probably because this reamer is used and it's not as sharp as it was when it was brand new and who knows how many pieces of steel I've reamed with that. So it's probably not as sharp as it could be but uh, that's what I've got so that's what I've used. But I have noticed that the uh, barrels shrink back down approximately three thousandths. That's why you want to check with a ball gauge the hole that you're getting after you ream it or drill it. So I'm going to go ahead and make one of these. And I'll face it off and turn it. I'm using a piece of mild steel that's 300.388 is the diameter of it. So I need to turn this down to 344 is what I'd like. That should give me a, a, a thousandths under the inside of this of the barrel. So let me face it off. And turn it. Let's set my indicator here because I want to go oh, approximately a half an inch. The overall length of the uh, piston is 0.460. Now I'd say plus or minus 10 thousandths and you'll be fine on that. So I'm going to cut it off right around 460. So right now I need to turn it down to 0.344. So let me take a cut and mic it and see where I'm at. So I have to take off 27,000. So let's take off 26 and I'll show you why.
Okay, I'm at 352. Forty-four. Need eight thousand, so I'm gonna go in four, and we'll check it. Right at 344. Okay. Let's do a real quick check here. It barely fits, which is good because I need to polish it. I get some four six hundred grit here and polish it. Now, I hate using. hate using sandpaper on a lathe, so I put something up to catch the, the dust because I don't want it on the lathe. smooth finish on there oh yeah that ought to do that ought to do fine now I want to put a 25 thousandths tip on the end of it so let me come up bump my part and set my indicator at zero and I'm going to dial in ten thousandths Just eyeball it. Another ten thousandths. And five thousandths. And not sharp edge off. paper again to polish that edge. Now we're going to cut it off. Come up here, bump my part, set my indicator to zero, and now I'm going to move it in the width of the blade, which is 093. Make sure my indicator is set. There we go. Dial in the 093. Set my indicator to zero, and now I want to go in the 460 plus or minus 10. One, two, three, four, 60. And I'll cut her off. Finish 
Farm. hot. I'll let it cool down a little bit. And in the meantime, I'm going to pull this rod out. Because I have to take this and turn it around. Let's see, she's still a little warm. But that's where we're at here. So, this back in the chuck. Change my tool out. And face it off. Center drill it. is a M drill. I go determines the weight of this thing so I can I just pretty well eyeballed it made a nice little pocket in there and and there's a piston now let's try it out it in here. That's how I test it. As long as she slides back and forth nice and easy, seems like a good fit. Another thing I can check is with the piston at the bottom, hold it and then tip it back up and see how long it takes to come into view. And if it takes a three, four seconds, you've got a good fit. Two, three. That took about three seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Takes about three seconds with a vacuum on it. With nowhere, it takes about three seconds for that piston to come into the view in the vent hole. Well, there you have it. That's how I make the piston. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.